So this is him uh, warning Biden. Because of Joe Biden, I spend a lot of time in courts, federal. <laughs> yes, well, that in your criminal activity. State, city. State, and tomorrow, city, I'll be a which is the worst city in the whole place. State, city is just awful. There's nothing. It's a whole. It's like Wyoming. It's basically a city that people pretend is a state and they have a state fair, which is the worst. Just ask Ted Nugent. Attending another Biden inspired federal appeals court argument on presidential immunity in Washington, D.C. Jesus, guys, just squeeze that shit out. Of course, I was entitled as president of the United States and commander in chief to immunity. I'm entitled. Yeah, just total immunity. Entitled to immunity. Every president has immunity. Yeah, immunity to do whatever you want. You are the the president is above the law. That's the argument. Everybody knows it. You're basically king. You become king of America. That's what commander in chief is code for being king, which is why I did everything I could to be as much like a king as possible. Like I was fat and eating a turkey leg and making stupid statements and everybody was scared to cross me or I'd have them killed. Especially one that did the job I did. I did a great job. And I wasn't working for myself. I was working for the country. Yeah, you kind of were working for yourself. You made you made a shit ton of money, especially in your uh, and for Jared as well, not just for you. I wasn't campaigning. The election was long over. Mm, well, you mean all of your legal remedies had already been exhausted? Wasn't campaigning. I was. <laughs> I wasn't campaigning. Well, I mean, you had a. Think of it as Ratz, Raffensperger being the, the one voter. Well, it, it, I think if you're if a campaign is a it, yeah if a campaign is a process to win votes and you're trying to manipulate the electoral college votes and try to get masses of votes redire redirected to you by manipulating the those votes, then yeah, you were com you were campaigning. You were saying, I deserve those votes more than Joe Biden does, even though I didn't earn them. Looking for voter fraud, something that I have to do. Yeah, I have to. I look for it. I paid for it. I should have, you know, I paid for for my people to, you know, to vote a couple of times, you know, so we would have examples in case I lost. And then a bunch of them did it. And I thought enough of them would do it. I'd have plenty of votes. And then... After and then we counted them up, and Biden still beat me. And then they did; they had to do fucking real recounts. And then what happened? This bullshit. They recounted these, and every time they'd recount, Biden would have more votes, which is bullshit. Have I said bullshit yet? Under my mandate, I have to look for voter fraud. Yeah, that's what I got to do. Every president, after they lose, immediately scours the country for voter fraud. And when they don't find any, and no one in the states find any, especially in states run by members of their own party, then you have to make some. It's your, it's your duty as president. If you can't find something, you make it. And I was finding it. Tremendous amounts of voter fraud. Were you? Were you? Well, then why did you have to ask them to give you 11,000 votes? In the 2020 election, we have volumes of information. Totally. Volumes of information all litigated and all proven false with recounts. It's all there. It's all there. You've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. It's not real, but that you don't have, you don't know that. And I was doing my job, which I had to do. <laughs> yeah. That's the worst thing about having a job too, is that you got to do it. Ugh. And it's my obligation to do. And otherwise running our country and running it well, we didn't have Russia going into Ukraine. We didn't have Israel under attack. Well, we did have a giant pandemic killing more Americans than any other country. I mean, except for China, because their numbers are bullshit, but they're much bigger than us. Um, yeah, I mean, particularly. Did your job involve a uh, cruise ship that had people with COVID on it? And and you're, you believe somehow that your job was to not let that ship dock because the second it docked, You'd have 46 more cases of COVID in the country, and it would fuck with your numbers. That, that, that actually happened. That was a real thing. That, and I got to tell, tell you, for decades, that would have been enough to get you fucking drummed out of the White House. This, like, I don't give a shit about these 46 Americans. They're messing with my stats. But... 
You got to slide through that. Attack. We didn't have China talking every day about going into Taiwan. <laughs> no, they didn't. They didn't have to. They just would plan it while you were sucking Xi Jinping's balls and trying to get a trade deal that had no upside for the United States and that never panned out. We didn't have inflation. No, we had deflation. We had collapse of the economy. We had a great economy. No, no, we lost more small businesses in one year under you than at any time in American history. And they stayed gone because you, you the, the only the Democrats wanted to add more money in and protect these businesses. Now, don't get me wrong. Some of them were salvaged. Like who, who got a, who got a loan that, uh, for their business and then ended up using it to run for office. Oh yeah, Marjorie Taylor Greene. If I don't get immunity, then crooked Joe Biden doesn't get immunity and all of the things he's done to allow the border invasion, millions and millions of people coming into our country, many- Yeah, that's, that's, that's not a thing. That's like saying, you, why would you get immunity for, why are not all the COVID deaths your fault, Mr. It'll go away with the sunshine. Just stick a light bulb up your ass and gargle some bleach and it'll go away. Have you tried some fish tank cleaner or some horse paste? Maybe that'll go away. So, so you want, again, these are on, on the same level. You're lucky that, that these don't apply at all. From prisons, jails, insane asylums, mental institutions, insane asylums. Many terrorists coming into our country. Uh, how do you know? Are they staying at Mar-a-Lago currently or are they at like Trump Tower, Miami? That's really allowing insurrection. Well, I guess you'd have to have one. And then it would be litigated after. You can't, it, when, are we, are you suggesting we go after like thought crimes is the idea that there's going to be an insurrection because these voters are going to automatically vote Democratic? Is this the idea? Even though you're like touting how many Latinos are now coming your way because I suppose they're pro-life Catholics. And come into a situation where he allowed the surrender to Afghanistan. We surrendered. The no, we didn't. The United States of America surrendered to surrendered. Afghanistan. N no, we didn't. Uh, Afghanistan does not have any U.S. territory. And we never were intending to lay claim to Afghanistan as the 51st state. We didn't lose fucking Hawaii or Puerto Rico or fucking Alaska in this horseshit. <laughs> we didn't surrender. We left. It, it, you could argue that the Afghan government surrendered, but the only reason we were there was to hold them up. And if they can't stand without us, then that wasn't going to work. And spending our blood and treasure in that country trying to create a government for them wasn't going to work. And especially since you freed 5,000 fighters for the other side. Where we gave them $85 billion worth of free, the best military equipment anyway. Free, well, free, of course. Well, we didn't have, you know, we would have just like, I don't know, soldiers or CIA guys out there with like Venmo things or, or uh, you know, it's like, I, I don't know. The, does the Taliban use credit or debit? It's probably Bitcoin. Probably Bitcoin. Yeah. Where in the world left thousands of hostages behind, hostages. behind and they were American hostages. Behind. No, we did not leave thousands of American hostages behind. We, we just f flat out fucking didn't. This is so weird. Behind. Still there, many of them. Well, they like it. I mean, obviously, you, you, oh, you're just, you're just talking about the people who had dual citizenship who, because they're in the opium trade. Yeah, they didn't want to come. They know what side of the bread the butter is on. They, you know, they you know they wanted to say it. it's good. Yeah. And thirteen dead soldiers and many soldiers. So yeah, we didn't leave them. They they got they're buried at Arlington. Dum dum. Badly hurt. This is gross incompetence. We did a surrender in Afghanistan. Nothing's ever been so embarrassing in the history of our country also what I, no what the fuck are you talking about leaving a, a, getting our staff out of a country that we no longer were participating in their in in the government there because you set up a date for us to to leave and you tried to lock it in did none of the homework 
And you're going to compare that. What about the Hanoi Hilton, for fuck's sake? We, we weren't planning to leave when that shit went down. Also, the millions and millions of dollars that went into Joe Biden's pockets with money from foreign countries like Russia, Afghanistan, China. Afghanistan? Many others. Like what? Like Afghanistan? What? I'm sorry. This is a new one because I try to keep up. And I guess maybe I just fallen behind. I thought, you know, I, 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 I still haven't figured out what the fucking Romanian stuff is about. Uh, and I, I, I guess we're going with the, with Kazakhstan, the, the, the Porsche that Hunter got, um, very possibly counts as something from Kazakhstan, but I, Afghanistan, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> it's my mistake. I'm asking you to know the fucking difference. I mean, Joe would be ripe for indictment. Would he? For, for what? For just spitballing for what? So you're saying that Trump shouldn't get immunity, but Joe Biden would? I didn't do anything like he did. I hey, fuckhead. If you get immunity, Biden has total immunity. He could secretly pardon himself. If, with, with that kind of immunity that you're arguing that you should have, he can shadow pardon himself, which I don't think the president has the power to do. But if your lawyers prevail in this shit, that gives Biden that power. You done, son. Good Lord. If even a tenth of what you say about Joe Biden was true, you're not going to make it to the election. It's insane. He ran a great country. This guy's gotten three and a half million dollars from the mayor of Moscow's wife. What the fuck? I didn't even know he was that good a lay. Um, no, Devin Archer got that money and that was her investment money. That wasn't his money. She invested that through Devin Archer's real estate venture so that she would get a return on it and if there was a profit if there was a return Devin Archer got a percentage of that what's that all about what's it all about Moscow what are we doing here what's it all about Moscow I don't understand what's going on here and that's the least of it. Well, <laughs> it would ha I guess it would have to be. The uh, yes, zero is the least of it. One of the reasons he's so soft on China is because he received a lot of money from China. Soft on China? So he has kept all of your tariffs and sanctions. He's added more sanctions than you did, more than doubling them, and the Chips and Science Act like, why didn't he, I gotta say, if he's really held by China in any meaningful way, why did, A, he come up with that policy? Why did they push to get it through? And why did he fucking sign it? Explain to me how him creating and, and pushing through Congress, the Chips and Science Act, and then signing it into law, how does that help China? Explain yourself. And he's afraid to do anything about it or say anything because he knows. Does he, he knows what? What does he know? Tell me what he knows. He's afraid to say, we have a Manchurian candidate in Joe Biden. We have to get him out. <laughs> yeah, the only reason he says Manchurian candidate because A, it's an old movie and man he probably still refers to China as Manchuria. By weaponizing the DOJ against his political opponent, me. Me. Joe Biden has... Which is really you. I'm just in the way. His political opponent is MAGA. It's all of you. I'm just in the way. And if you, if you don't show up for me at the Iowa caucuses, I'm going to step out of the way and you're fucked. Opened a giant Pandora's box. Oh, okay. Not the small one. It, as I recall, Pandora's box was magical, and so the size of it didn't really matter. It, you know what I mean? Like, I, as a matter of fact, what made it spooky was it was kind of normal sized, uh, and yet held all those this awful. Um, ah, fuck it, probably huge. As president, I was protecting our country and doing a.
I was sitting on top of Pandora's box and it was it was trying to open up and I was luckily I was just shoving fish lights down my throat as fast as I could to just try to plump myself up so that I could hold the lid down. Otherwise it would pop open on its own. Great job of doing so and the historians will be saying that they already are. <laughs> The historians already are. They're watching this right now from 2,000 years in the future. And they're going, thank God for Trump. He didn't get back in, but he changed the direction of democracy. And he shit the bed so profoundly that most of the holes we didn't realize were in democracy are all sewed up. Thanks to me. <laughs> but just look around at the complete mess that crooked Joe Biden has caused. He's you mean the... Longest run of uh, unemployment under 4% in, I think, the nation's history. You mean rising wages? You mean the, the stock market, market, which you said would crash, by the way? The worst president in the history of our country. Well, if you hate infrastructure, yeah. By far. Yeah, by far. I mean, it was the biggest, it, it, yeah, biggest infrastructure bill by far, largely because just the cost of building things is more expensive now. You know, I mean, obviously the highway bill probably would have been pretty high. He's also the most corrupt president. Dun, dun, dun. The least I'm entitled to. You sound jealous. <laughs> He's the most corrupt person ever. And that's my fucking gig. His presidential immunity, just like any other president. Including Joe Biden. Ouch. Oh, that's a bad one. Would get. I'd be the only one that they would even consider not giving me immunity. <laughs> well, I, I have to say, um, if a sitting president has that kind of power, then he has the power to just deny you singularly, in particular, that kind of immunity. I mean, if you're saying the president has that kind of power, then Joe Biden's the president. He has that kind of power. It's, uh, it's kind of your ass. I mean, I would, if I was you and I knew that, I'd have kept my head down. I certainly wouldn't have argued for those powers while the guy who I, who hates me, I guess, is in office. Because for whatever reason... <laughs> whatever reason, whether uh, they just don't like pussy-grabbing cretins uh, or second-generation rich kids or people who could even bankrupt a casino, which seems impossible. People are angry that I've done such a good job. <laughs> That's what we're mad about. That's what it was. We're all so mad... We're uh, just angry that you did such a good job uh, letting Americans die during a pandemic and coming up with a stupid name for the vaccine process like Operation Warp Speed, which for some reason made it seem like, especially to your followers, that the entire process was rushed. Okay. <clears throat> and I've replaced people that were corrupt. <laughs> did you? Well, you technically did by you. You have. That's true. You lost. Your people left and Biden replaced them. Yeah. So, t I mean, technically kind of like a bank shot kind of a way. Yeah, that 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 happened. That was supposed to be president. So. Huh? That were corrupt that was supposed to be president. So. People are angry that I've done such a good job and I've replaced people that were corrupt that was supposed to be president. So take on the fake Biden indictments. They're all Biden indictments. These are. Take, take on the, okay. That was just gibberish then. So he was, he would, yeah. I guess Hillary, is that what he means? Or, but he seemed to be talking about people he put in. I guess Nikki Haley? Is that what? I, I don't even want to try to make sense of this, but also take on the Biden indictments? Take on the fake Biden indictments. They're all Biden indictments. These are indictments, as we say, like God coming down from heaven and saying you did something wrong. Yeah, that's not how most indictments work. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, that's, that's how almost 
none of them work. I'm sure if we go into the Old Testament, that happened a couple of times. Uh, but those weren't quite indictments. Those would be uh, judgments. And it's interesting because God in those situations just kind of breezes right past the grand jury and the indictment phase and goes right to sentencing. If you really... <laughs> Let's say that one more time. I don't even fucking know what the hell. Corrupt that was supposed to be president. So take on the fake Biden indictments. They're Me? I'm supposed to take them on? I'm supposed to. Why do I have to do it? It's your fucking problem. Or is this a letter to you? You've taped. Is, is this not one of your campaign videos? Is this just you talking to your lawyers on FaceTime? All Biden indictments. These aren't indictments as... We say, like God coming down from heaven and saying you did something wrong. These were indictments given and pushed by Joe Biden. And he told his... Well, I mean, the Lord works in mysterious ways. I mean, uh, you know, render unto Caesar what is Caesar's, which is basically, you know, uh, an admission by, you know, to Jesus that you, you obey the law of the nation that you're in. Um, so so complicated to say the least but um yeah maybe he just is putting because you know if you'll if you if you look in the old test in the old testament specifically or actually in in uh, revelations i think it even talks about how god will uh conf like confuse men's hearts and make them do evil so it removes their free will entirely so maybe God hates you so much that he's uh, confusing Joe Biden's heart and making him go after you. He'd love to. I mean, he'd love to forgive and forget as a Catholic, you know, as a Christian. He'd, you know, he'd want to do that or whatever, but God won't let him because God uh, hates you, hates you a lot. He just really, really does. I mean, he, you know, it's a, that's, a, you know, how they say when it, it if you want to be the bigger person, you got to be able to admit when you're wrong. Well, no one's bigger than God. And I think that's what's happening. I think he's admitting that he was wrong in uh, how you turned out and your existence in general. And I think he's trying to remedy it, and but use it as a teachable moment for the rest of us. DOJ to do it. Don't believe anything else. He told his DOJ to do it. Go and indict him because he's losing badly in the polls, so badly that... He figures this is the only way that he can win. The only problem is that thus far, mm -hmm. thus far, it's pushed us way up in the polls. Hi oh yeah, you're doing great. Yeah, you're you're at you're, Chris Christie just dropped out. And I'm sure all of his followers will jump over to your camp and totally won't back Nikki Haley. Higher than anybody's ever been, actually. I'm just saying, it looks like Haley Christie 2024 is going to be a big thing in the next couple of weeks because people see it's a scam and they see. It is as a scam and a threat and a scammy scam. It's a persecution and they don't like it when it comes. No, they don't like it. To anything, but certainly not when it comes to a president. No, they, they, yeah, they don't like when normal people are persecuted, but especially when a rich, you know, second generation rich kid asshole who brags about grabbing women by the pussy when somebody like that is persecuted. I mean, what's the world coming to? What in the world? What is it all? Have we all fallen so far? They're running a political campaign. Yes, they are. Yeah, technically. Hey, broken clock moment, man. Yeah. Biden is campaigning. He's running for president. This is true. In a dirty way, even. Ooh, well, <laughs> my goodness. What kind of dirty are we talking worse about? Worse than they did previously. Oh, even worse than that, because that, that was naughty. And frankly, it's never happened in our country before. Well, I mean, obviously, there's been dirty tricks in our campaigns before. I mean, what, where do you think the term rat fucking comes from? You don't think Roger Stone actually fucked a rat at some... Actually, I wouldn't rule it out. It only happens in third world... Sorry, I, I wouldn't rule it out. ...world countries or... Excuse me, not third world. A ninth world country, not a third world country. Yeah. A ninth world country. Yeah, third, even third world countries wouldn't allow this. No. Otherwise, a ninth world. Excellent, excellent. Or banana republics. Well, 
or a, a even a Macy's men's section. I think really, it, like you, the, you ever been in those places? Talk about bedlam. He's <laughs> got the sales rack. I mean, it looks like a a torture device. They using their. They using their what? Sorry. They using what? Third world countries or mm. banana republics. They using their. They using their what? They they using their. Department of Injustice to. They using their in Department of Injustice. Um, did Silk write this? To Sorry. go after his a political appointment. And his a political appointment. Wait, why is he using it to go after his political appointment? You mean his opponent? This is your fucking video, dummy. Department of Injustice to go after his a political appointment. And this is all him. Why? Why? Wait a minute. <whistles> Hang on. Time out. Time the fuck out. Yeah, back up. You can't breeze right by that. Why? Why? Why is Joe Biden using the Department of Justice to go after people that he himself has uh, appointed to uh, office? Why, why wouldn't he just, I don't know, ask for their resignation? Or did you mean to say another word um, and you realized it, which is why you're making that face, but you don't want to reshoot a five-minute video, so you just said, fuck it. Or the people that work for you promised they would fix it, and they just didn't. Because according to their analytics, no one watches more than 30 seconds of this shit except me. 100% him. He's 100% him. The one that told him to do it. and Told him, told him to do they it. They obey his orders. They do. They do. It's a shame. Never happened in the United States before. Well, it hasn't happened uh, now. Also, I don't know that something like that hasn't happened before. I, I would I would dare to say that Nixon attempted several things like this, if my if I recall. And also, um, you just sound like you wish you had done it. But it's happened now. And he has to be careful because that can happen to him also. Well, not if he has immunity. If he has the immunity you say a president does, you're not getting in there. Nobody is. Biden's going to be president till he dies forever. He's going to be, he's going to keep himself in fucking stasis. He's going to let Hunter, uh, he's going to sign an executive order and then uh, illegally strike out parts of the Constitution that talk about term limits and stuff and then pardon himself for doing it. And, and Hunter Biden will be president for his entire life and will read thoughts from, from Joe's head frozen in laminate in the, in the Oval Office. He just put his hands on either side of it and 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 just take it as like a, he's being ordained to take the vibes coming from Joseph. Joe wants me to uh, Green New Deal, big Green New Deal. I'm going to do that. And, uh, and something, an anti-malarkey bill. We're doing an anti-malarkey bill. And then just he'll be president. That's good. The next president, whoever that may be, has a yeah, it's not going to be you. The statute of limitations that go back six years. That's a long time, Joe. You have to be very careful. We have to... Statute of limitations, six years? For what? First of all, uh, by... Yeah. Y yeah, singularly, there is no crime from 2019 forward. At all. She just basically, and by the way, the reason he's saying six years statute of because that's the, that's, he benefited from that time in the New York court case. Guard and protect our country. We have to do what's right for our country. You don't indict your political opponent. Well, you don't, obviously, because you don't have the guts to do it. You were going to, weren't you going to lock up Hillary Clinton? Didn't you, didn't they chant lock her up? And you, and you didn't do that. That's weird. When there's something about Mexico paying for the wall, and not like, if you think about it, Mexico will pay for the wall. Uh, I think the phrase was 100%. Because he opposes the corrupt election, which you know was corrupt. Everybody knows it was corrupt. Who are you talking to? You can't mix and match. You can't talk to Joe Biden and me at the same time. Corrupt. The American public knows it was corrupt. You don't indict your political opponent. Thank you very much. Because of Joe. <laughs> you don't indict your political opponent. Thank you very much. I'm out. I'm done. I'm out. 
I ran out of things to say. And then I said, when I meant to say political opponent, I said political appointment. Can we cut that? Can we fix that? Thank you. I'm gonna, I'll be on the toilet truthing. <laughs> <laughs>